So today I'm talking about a P0501 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P0501 code? Well, it's a vehicle speed sensor A range performance. And so what does this mean? Well, the computer needs to know how fast the vehicle's moving for different functions that it's doing. For example, like the driver assist programs, anti-lock braking systems, and also for when the transmission goes to shift, the different things along these lines. But when you get this P0501 code, the computer's seeing a problem with this vehicle speed sensor, that it's not working the way it should be. And so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0501 code? Well, the first thing that's going to cause this is a bad vehicle speed sensor. And one thing to keep in mind with this vehicle speed sensor is that the location of it is really going to vary. It's going to depend on the vehicle, the year, the make, the model. On some vehicles that use the wheel speed sensors that's located at each tire, and the computer will use that information to calculate the vehicle speed. Some vehicles have a vehicle speed sensor located right on the transmission. The computer will be using information from it. This is very common. And some vehicles will have it located right on the rear differential. This is very common with some manufacturers. For example, like Ford, it's like Ford F-150s. It's very common that the sensor is located on the differential. But wherever the sensor is located, the first thing to do would be to find out how your specific vehicle is working. If the computer is using information from all the wheel speed sensors or a specific sensor just located on the transmission or on the differential. Usually when it is a wheel speed sensor, you'll get another code. For example, like a C0035, right rear wheel speed sensor circuit open or shorted. If you were to also get this code, then it's going to be a good idea to go check out that sensor, do some tests to be sure that it's good because the first thing that could cause this is a bad vehicle speed sensor and where it's located and what the computer's using for that information is really gonna vary and depend on the vehicle. The next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the sensor. If there's like an open, a short, a blowing fuse, anything like this, then that's gonna cause problems. It's always a good idea to go check for any blowing fuses. Which fuse or fuse is to go and check. Again, it's gonna vary, it's gonna depend on the vehicle, but definitely anything labeled like ABS, or any computer related fuses or anything like that. Because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring problem. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And this isn't going to be too common. Usually when you get a P0501 code, it's going to be some kind of other issue. But it does happen sometimes. Sometimes these computers do go bad. And this would be something like a bad ABS module, a bad engine control module, powertrain control module, possibly a transmission control module. One thing to mention is that if you do think you have a bad computer, is be sure that the battery's good, all the terminal connections look like they're good, that there's no corrosion or anything like this going on. Because all these computers, they all need a good, stable power supply, or that can throw them off and just cause them to have issues, cause them to start throwing out codes and different things like this. So if you are getting a lot of codes, then be sure to go and check that out, because the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0501 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.